How's it going, everyone? It is Eric here from Boulder Road IO, and in episode two of Unsolicited Advice, we are going to be taking a look at Mailshake.com. In this episode, it's about four minutes, we're gonna go through three things. We're gonna review the platform and the user objectives when using Mailshake.com. We're gonna go ahead and look at the friction points that get in the way of those objectives, and then present our redesign of the platform or the solutions to those friction points. There's a live prototype in this post, so you can see our redesign, as well as a live copy of what Mailshake looks like now. It's just screenshots that you can click through to get a sense of how Mailshake is put together. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So with the user objectives, after you create a mail uh, campaign, uh, Mailshake.com, first off, is a cold emailing platform. They allow you to scale personalized cold email outreach. And they have an awesome generation process or uh, ability to create campaigns. I actually liked it a lot. There were some small tweaks. Um, but we're going to be focusing on everything after the campaign is created. Um, the user objectives after you create this cold email campaign is to review your campaign performance as well as respond to engaged recipients. Now, when we went through the platform with our user testing, we found two things. One was reporting accessibility. So when I log into Mailshake.com, I come to this homepage and the only thing available to me on the homepage right now is a button to create new campaigns and tips on how to use the platform. Those tips include links to blog posts or videos. Um, in order to actually get information on the campaigns and, and reporting on the campaigns, I have to click on the campaigns page and then I can click into an individual campaign to get the reporting related to that or some other information like what my email calendar this month looks like, as well as what my engaged recipients look like. <clears throat> so the reporting accessibility, it, we felt that the reporting was kind of hidden from the user. You had to actually go to a page to find it. Uh, and generally, we would have liked to see on the home page uh, instant reporting that will show me here's where you need to go and take actions. So given our user objectives is how are our campaigns doing and who has responded, we would probably want to know that information right off the bat on the homepage. Second point here is the information architecture. That's just a fancy word for saying how the information is presented to you and the structure of it. So with Mailshake right now, this is the campaigns page and an overview for an individual campaign. Um, and this is where the information, there's too many layers right now uh, on the campaigns page. I'll go through that. So when I click on campaigns, uh, the tab here, I'm technically brought to the second sub tab, which is the campaigns. So I'm on the campaigns campaigns page right now. And if I want to review an individual campaign, it's confusing, <laughs> but you can follow along. Um, I get to an overview summary after I click into a campaign. So technically, there's five layers of information here. I'm on the campaigns, campaigns, campaign overview summary page here. And you can see this is this can get confusing to follow along with, especially when there's double tabs um, and so forth. So ideally, you want to present no more than three layers of information to a user so they can follow along and put breadcrumbs so that could, they can see where they are on the page. So let's jump into the solution and how we address these two friction points. In our solution, uh, for the first friction point of reporting accessibility, we took all the relevant information to your two user objectives and put it on the home page. So I can see how all my campaigns are doing relative uh, across how all my active campaigns are doing, as well as who's engaged and how they have engaged. The second is the information architecture. Um, we made it so that there's no more than two layers of information here. So when you click into the campaigns tab on the sidebar and then want to review the performance of an individual page uh, or an individual campaign, 
you're presented one page with tabs for the relevant information. So technically there's three layers here with the sub tabs. So um, overall, that was a fun redesign of Mailshake.com. If you guys want the sketch files, if you're a product designer or manager interested in seeing how we did that, you can go ahead and DM me and I will send you a sketch file and the protopie for this prototype. If you're on the Mailshake team, um, we'd love to send this to you. Just DM me on uh, LinkedIn. And if you want to jump on a call to see our user, um, user tests and user research, we'd be happy to do that as well. So thanks again. This was episode two of Unsolicited Advice, where we take a platform, identify the user objectives, the friction points, and then redesign it. So thanks again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.